Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Nerf Combos on the channel. My name is Luke Triton and today we are looking at the Modulus Recon Mark II. This is in the Modulus line, so it has loads of tactical potential. It has a barrel and stock attachment point, a tactical rail on the top and a tactical rail on the side. Ooh. It is a spring action magazine fed blaster. It cannot take the 18 dark magazine as we explored in the review video, so we have a bit of a limit. Nonetheless, we have lots of fun with this blaster. In this series, we have a rule, which I will quickly cover now. A, well, I might as well grab the magazine since I'm reaching for it. If a blaster is released with two or more attachments, I call that Nerf's official combo. You get a six dark magazine, you get a small barrel and a small stock. Therefore, this is Nerf's official combo. Now in this series, we cover three traditional classes, heavy, close quarters and long range, my personal combo, and then any gimmicks after that. So as always, we kick things off with the heavy. So this is my heavy combo, modulus edition. So normally when I make my heavy combos, I will always use my stampede shield, but I'm going to sacrifice it for this episode for the folding modulus shield, which I've used in a few others, but that also means everything about this blaster and this combo in particular is modulus. So there we go. Speaking of which, we have the modulus barrel, which is infinitely scalable. It has a tactical rail on the top and bottom. More could be added around this area here, but I chose not to. It doesn't need to be too excessive. Well, it could. I mean, how uh, heavy blaster, zombie slaying sort of thing it could be. But here and now, it's not. We have the torch on the side rail. The side rails are very cool. And it's putting that to good use with a nice sleek torch. Help you light up your target whilst you're destroying them. What else would you destroy them with than the 35 dark drone you use from the Raider? It is absolutely spectacular. What other thing would you use? Again, I've asked that, and it is probably the Titan 50 dot drum, but we'll get to that in good time. And of course, the stock is the stock shots, because this is a spring power blaster with single fire. You will need, potentially, some backup shots. This is more prone to jamming, so in the event that gets stuck there, you can just pull this off, slowly but surely, prime it, and you've got a second blaster ready to go. It's kind of difficult, personally, to make a heavy combo for a spring blaster because I don't use them, but this will be my heavy combo for the Recon Mark II. The next combo, of course, is Close Quarters. This is actually quite funky, and I actually really like the looks of this one. So, we are keeping the torch on the side rail from the previous uh, combo, because why would you remove it? It is very cool to have a torch on a Close Quarters build, and it puts that side rail to good use. The Spectre Barrel, because what other barrel are you going to use for close quarters? Is that on? What's the shine I just saw? Oh, okay, never mind, we'll just move on. The Red Dot Sight, because of course you would use this, it's the best sight ever. The Re... Uh, not the Recon, the Raider Folding Stock, which is a very interesting choice, because traditionally I would go with a Folding Stock from the Spectre, but because this is a Spring Blaster, you're putting more pressure into the stock, and that uh, Spectre Stock will wiggle around a lot, so I don't really want that. Since this is open, we have a 12 dark magazine because you can't use 18 dark magazines. This one's transparent, so bonus points. And all in all, just looking at that, come on, that looks pretty damn cool. You could replace this with a drum, but even if you were just cosplaying, that looks so cool. It feels really good as well. So this would be my close quarters combo. This next combo is long range. I think this blaster is starting to look better and better with the combos I'm putting together. So we have the regulator stock with a 12 dart magazine in the back. We have the small scope from the modulus because this is a top priming blaster. I don't really want anything too excessive on the top. The bigger scope is probably better for snipers. But since I'm going to be moving this a lot, I don't want it hitting my face. So there is that. We have the modulus barrel here. Again, nothing on the side rail because we have the green laser underneath. I love my green laser. And we're going to top things off with the long range barrel from the long range kit. All in all, just looking at that now, again that looks so good! Oh, this and the close quarters combo is going to be a lot of fun to use. Here's the hoping it doesn't jam when I use it though, but this is my long range combo. So the close quarters and long range combos personally look really cool to me, but how would I use this in an Earth 4 myself? It would look something like this. Now this is a bit of a combination between the last two. We have the regulator stock again, carrying some backup shots. My beloved dark drum. I'm not using my 30 dark infamous drum because this is a spring blaster. I'm not going through my rounds as quickly, therefore I don't need as much ammo. 
the barrel strike barrel attachment barrel blaster barrel because because this is a spring blaster <laughs> let me start that again because this is a spring blaster it has more potential to jam in the event of a jam i can just pull this handle prime it and i've got four shots at the ready well one at a time but you know it can hold four shots at the last second i decided to swap out the small modular scope with the red dot sight this is again more close quarters themed this bump here isn't going to be getting in the way of the red dot sights, amazingly, right? But whilst I'm moving around with this, it feels very tight, it's very cool. Nothing on that side rail, sadly. I could put a torch there, but yeah, let's just go. It's too late, I've already recorded the video, basically. But nonetheless, this is my personal combo. And now we have one gimmick combo for you today, and I wonder how many people saw this coming. This is old school. Yeah, come on. Of course it was going to be this. This is the Recon Mark II, so for this combo we're using everything from the Recon Mark I. The yellow Recon Barrel, the yellow Recon Laser, the yellow Recon Flip Sight, which is still a very cool sight in my opinion, and the infamous yellow Recon Stop. It can hold a 6 dart magazine, which is also what you're using in the blaster itself. This is old days, and the only other magazine you had was the Raider 35 dart drum. This... Look, on this blaster, because of this new shape and with that new side rail, doesn't look too bad. You could update this with the modular stock, a different sight, and again, there are modulus re-releases of these attachments, but this looks pretty good. Oh, I actually quite like this. This is old school. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the combos episode for the Recon Mark II done. It got a lot darker during this episode, it's got to be weird. Not in terms of like how dark like things got, but you know, room lighting darkness. It was very bright and sunny today, and over the past 20 minutes, things have been just dim. Oh well, time to record the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.